I want revenge in stage 5 in the Tour de Madagascar. The stage from Bajeni to Ansirab is with 121 kilometers and 1100 height meters a relatively flat and quick stage. Let's try my luck in the breakaway today. Into the night. Yesterday I was a little bit unlucky, losing my fourth place in the general classification after two flat tires, but I won't give up yet. I feel very powerful today and I feel there are possibilities for success in stage 5. Early in the race, six riders joined me in the breakaway. And none of the seven riders in the break are dangerous for the general classification. So the French team, who have the yellow jersey since yesterday, therefore don't really care about us. The break creates a decent lead very quickly in the race. consists out of five Malagasy riders. My friend from Congo, Jimmy Muhindo, and me. The Malagasy are of course very lightweight riders and accelerate a lot on the climbs, giving me and Muhindo sometimes a very, very hard time. So after 50 kilometers of racing with the high pace, the amount of people in the break shrinks from seven to five. Jimmy Muhindo is uh, one of the victims of the high pace. with the peloton is 7 minutes and 20 seconds with 50 kilometers of racing to go. Surprisingly enough, the lead is a sign for the Malagasy riders to start attacking, although we have 50k of racing to go. And I'm really surprised, and although my Malagasy competitors ride for different teams, they actually cooperate together. Every time I close the gap, another Malagasy rider attacks. Well, they, they clearly work together to make me feel tired. And I don't like the situation of, at all, of course, the situation where I'm in. And therefore, I uh, decide to attack myself. One of my competitors cannot follow and therefore I have three breakaway companions left. Suddenly the organization tells that the peloton is closing in and there are only three minutes left between them and us in the break. The Malagasy riders are scared and suddenly want to cooperate again. The signal of the organization is luckily not right, because after a few kilometers the gap is over 7 minutes again. Luckily we work well as a break again, and we are maintaining our lead. With 10 kilometers to go, each one of us knows we have a chance 
of winning the stage today. So at home I did a little bit of research on this particular stage and therefore I know there is a small last climb at 4 kilometers before the finish. Before this small ascent there is a little bit of a downhill. So I make sure I'm in the back of the group when entering the last 5 kilometers. I start to climb with a bit more velocity than my competitors and I start sprinting uphill. I lose two of the Malagasy riders, but one guy can keep up. His name? Hasina Rakotonirina. We work together till the last one and a half kilometers. And then the game for the stage win really starts. <laughs> Nirina in the sprint, winning the fifth stage in the Tour de Mada. This is the revenge I have been looking for after two flat tires in stage four. It's an amazing feeling to win here in Madagascar. I also take some seconds for the young rider classification and I even take six minutes on the competitors for the yellow jersey. I enjoy the attention of the crowd, the media and the organization and it's a great feeling to be in the podium as a winner. What a day for me here in the Tour de Madagascar. Hide and seek, reason.